Hello, I am Test Drive, and welcome to episode 10 of Auto Modelista, where, of course, we are going to be changing our car up yet again, and we will be putting the Viper into storage, the Viper, and checking out something else, and I have an idea, actually. Uh, actually, I don't really have many ideas, but... Maybe I do have an idea, I don't know. I didn't realize oh yeah, the ZZS. I was like, Tommy Kara, what the hell's in there? Now I remember. Uh, what we're gonna do... Let's see, which one do I want to use? I think I know which one I want to use. We are going to be... What is that? Oh, it's a number two. We are going to actually be going to the Classics car... Classics! For the first time in this Let's Play. Well, we're going to be racing one, not racing against one. Uh, I'm gonna have a silver, because that is the color for the 2000 GT. Form MF10. I didn't know that they had that. Is that a 3M? Like, that's not a 3M. I don't know. Maybe it is. Uh, this is going to be stupid, by the way. Yeah, whatever. There we go. 2 KGT. Yes. Don't care about the license plate number, as per usual. Yes, I will accept that number. And we shall tune the car up. Just a hair. I guess this probably has body upgrades? I actually don't know. Uh, Yokohama, sure, why not? Racing... Endless, why not? Upgrade that. HKS, why not? I was gonna say, I don't really think this car had a computer, but I, you can still put it on it, so I guess that's fine. 428 horsepower. Uh, we'll do acceleration one, and we shall make the car lighter, which makes it very, very light. 2200 pounds. Very nice. And dress it up in a second. In a second. Wait for it. Wait for it. Okay. And we shall... Oh. Why is it like just the hood, but it's not the whole hood? Something is wrong there, I think. Still gonna put stripes on it, though. Uh, what do we got for... Oh, we got a bunch of original stuff. Why is the hood a different color? I don't know. We'll just put some stuff on it. Why not? Original. Took away the fender mirrors. Not true JDM anymore. Ooh. I actually like the one with the extra lights in it. Oh, wide body. Hello. Okay. Hmm. Hello, Chris. Welcome to the stream. Welcome to... Oh, that is a big exhaust tip. Hello. Sure, don't mind if I do. Welcome to uh, Auto Modelista, where I, I do things to a Toyota 2000 GT. Uh, you know, I'm going to stock wheels on it. I'm basically just doing... Ah. I don't like that. I don't like it being, like, completely covered. Uh, yeah, just basically just running back and doing... Unlocking things I didn't unlock the first time through, because you have to, like, play things twice to unlock things. It's, I don't know, it's kind of confusing in this game. I don't really, nobody seems to know how you actually 100% this. So, I'm just doing what I can. Um, but yeah, we'll do this one first, because it has a secret car to unlock. Garage is cozy, honestly. Okay, let's go. Let's see how the 2000 GT performs. It was pretty good against me whenever I race against it. It's possible, but people, like... I unlocked everything else, but I still can't get 100% on this. I'm like, I... And there's that's like the only thing I found, really. So, uh, from searching, at least. So, that's what I'm working on. Yeah, that's what I'm working on. Oh, look at the gauges. They're different. Ooh. Big tired. Understandable. I am vaguely tired. Oh, God, I don't have enough gear. Miata, hello? Ow. 
Oh, is that actually the turn symbols on these? Oh my god, that's silly if it is. Oh god, hello everybody. Ow. Well, you can come be cozy in the stream then. Or do something else if you want to. Oh god, number two, hello. That is a big ass exhaust tip, by the way. That's just shaking underneath the car right now. I have no more gears. Also, this just meh. The tone of the engine is barely changing on this car. Whenever I shift, or whenever it, it goes from a low RPM to a high RPM. Or at least from like 6K to 8.5K. Quite intriguing. It does handle pretty good though, compared to most of the other cars I've driven in this game. So that's good. And what are we in chicken dinner? I'm number one. He was number one. Something like that. It just happened. Something just happened. I don't know. We're gonna thumbnail it for this, though. So. I actually don't know uh, what the PAL version has, because I've not played the PAL version. What the hell kind of physics was that? Goodness gracious. I think the PAL version was the same as this. From what I've seen, I think it's the same. Can't confirm though, because I have actually no idea. There's like not a whole lot of information on this game on the internet, surprisingly. Congratulations. Yay. Oh, the Dome Zero, let's go. There's the last manufacturer unlocked. There's one retro poster, parts washer. I'm looking forward to your next okay, what else we got here? We have well, two more races to do. Both of the hill climbs. Okay. Works for me, Chief. Well, at least I don't have to change my gearing. I can have short gears here. They weren't even that short, I guess. Going like 150, basically. I'm racing it's a Hakusuka, an A86, and what is the other car? Another A86? It is. Two eight sixes, okay, got it. The other eight six apparently is slow compared to this eight six. Interesting. Aha! Later, nerd. Oh god. Ow. I'm going. I almost said something else and regretted it. I don't regret things though. I would just laugh at it. Smile. Oh god. Hello, Hakusuka. Little bastard. Well, not really a little bastard compared to my car, I guess, but a medium bastard. Oh god, no, don't spin! Go! Why must you spin? Spinala.
I'm thinking I, I, I think all the cars I've had with pop-up headlights, I have modified it to where the headlights are always up. By the way, because I know they they go up if you go into a nighttime race, if you didn't do the upgrade, but they should be down. But they aren't because I didn't do it myself. I did the upgrade. It was all my fault. I ruined my downforce. Damn it. Oh god. Haha! -ha. There we go. Good first try. I like it. I like it. Thank you. Alright, what do we get? <clears throat> RX3, nice. Michelin Retro Poster, stamp on a roll card. Okay, so that should be done. Yep. Another secret car. Okay. Works for me there, Chief. Rocco Hill. I think there's a place called Rocco something in Jet Set Radio Future. I think. I don't remember. I haven't played that game in a long time and I never, like, played it all the way through. Ow. I don't know what just happened. Oh, God. Ow. Get out of the way! Oh, what the hell? I think I hit something, but I didn't. <clears throat> oh god. Right. Oh god, this acceleration in this car is too much for this. Too many short, not even straightaways. Too many turns. Oh shit. Oh god, please. This one's not, uh, oh god. Not exactly, uh, as OP for me as the last race, I guess. Like I said, I think it's all the turns. Because I tend to screw up, and I think also this car just accelerates too fast. Oh god. Ow. Go away! 8-6. Go! Almost top speed. Oh god. Ow. We're good. Finish. Finish. Yay. That's me, number one. Hooray. Congratulations. Alright. Galan GTO. Very nice. Retro oil can director's chair. Very nice. And that should be everything in here. Yep, everything is complete. Uh, so yeah, I guess we'll move on to whatever level comes next, I guess. I can't count. Anyways, that is going to conclude this episode. We are at 76 and 72% for unlocking special cars, as well as little garage trinkets. So, thank you all very, very much for watching this on YouTube, and I will see you all in the next episode.